What's up everyone, Rick here at Rick's Automotive. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps that I take to change the automatic transmission fluid in the V6 Honda and Acura. So first to know when your car is due for a automatic transmission service, um, this is a 2016 Odyssey. Uh, so it's got a maintenance minor system, which will, uh, this little tab here next to your gas gauge, we just press that down. It'll cycle through your trip A and trip B. Then it'll take it to your oil life and any other maintenance it's due. So this particular car is due for an oil change, which is what the A indicates and the one. The three is for the transmission fluid service. And also you'll notice this car is exactly at 30,000 miles. Typically these cars um, need, need the transmission service every 30,000 miles or so. In fact, going back to when before these cars had maintenance minder systems, Honda had the 30,000 mile service and included in that service was the transmission service. So this uh, transmission should be serviced every 30,000 miles. I'll be using the DW1 automatic transmission fluid for this vehicle. Um, see, this is the owner's manual. It calls for 3.3 quarts. Uh, the DW1 supersedes any transmission fluid um, prior to it. So if you had, you know, like an early night or late 90s and early 2000s V6 automatic you know, Honda Acura, this is the fluid you would use. Uh, the only exception is going to be uh, starting in 2016, Honda started um, putting the nine speed transmissions in their higher uh, trim level cars like the Elite. Uh, that transmission that's Type 3, ATF Type 3, uh, it's fairly expensive too. It's roughly $40 or $50 a quart, I believe. But uh, most of your uh, V6 automatic transmissions in the Honda and Acura is going to take the DW1, uh, which looks like this. And also replace the crush ring on the drain plug which looks like this I'm ready to start the transmission fluid service I've got the fender cover on the front here to protect the customer's car because I'm leaning over quite a bit because so I have to access the fill plug which is back in the back here you just move these hoses out of the way and that right there that says ATF that's a 17 millimeter you want to crack that guy loose and remove it so to break the fill plug loose I've got a long half inch breaker bar I've got an extension ran down between the two coolant hoses to the bolt. Just want to show you what the fill plug looks like with it removed from the car. Got the Odyssey lifted up in the air. Uh, if you're at home, you can use uh, jack and jack stands and you make sure you set the, the emergency brake or chalk the rear wheels, make sure you're, make sure you're safe out there. Uh, but I've got a 3 8 extended ratchet. That way I can get some leverage. Some, some of these bolts can be in there pretty tight. Uh, on this particular vehicle, the plug is located here, right next to the A-pipe and the oil pan. Uh, this is where this one's located. Some of the V6 transmissions, also you'll find a plug on the back side, um, usually right around here somewhere. Um, but this one is on this side. And about three to three and a half quarts of transmission fluid is going to come out of here, so you'll need uh, an adequate uh, drain or a catch pan that's large enough to catch that amount of fluid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crack this loose and drain the transmission fluid. Before I pull this drain plug all the way out of here, you want to make sure that whatever you're catching the fluid in, isn't much lower than the plug because once this plug is out of here, especially if you just got off the road from driving, if this fluid's hot, this stuff just shoots out and makes a huge mess. So you want to make sure that you have the pan pretty close to the plug and I'll show you just how fast that comes out of there. All right, so while the fluid's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a new crush ring gasket for the drain plug. Have the old drain plug removed. So I'm going to show you what uh, what it looks like. You've got some metal. This is a magnet on the very end here, so you're going to have some metal. It might be black or gray. It's just it's made to catch all the loose metal within the side of the fluid, so that's normal. So don't freak out if you have a bunch of metal and it's uh, on the end here. If you see if you've got chunks or something, that's different. But little small little pieces of metal like that, like the hair sticking up, that's normal. Uh, to get the crush ring off, I use a pair of pliers, and I keep the uh, 3 8 ratchet installed inside of the plug. I just grab the O-ring with the pliers, and then I use the ratchet and turn the ratchet, holding it with two hands, and it threads it right off. I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. New drain plug is all cleaned off. It almost looks uh, brand new, nice and shiny. Then I have a new crush ring installed. I let the transmission fluid drain uh, about 15 or 20 minutes until you get uh, a steady drip like this. You don't want to you know, put the plug in too early. You want to make sure you get as much of the old fluid out as possible. I'm going to go ahead and install the drain plug. I've got the drain plug hand tight, and to tighten it, I'm going to torque it to specifications, which on this vehicle is 36 foot-pounds. 
If you don't have a torque wrench, that's okay. You can use the same 3 8 ratchet that we uh, that you removed the plug with to install it. But what you do not want to do is go full meathead mode on this thing and over tighten it to the point where it uh, you know, strips the threads out of the transmission or over tightens that crush ring. Uh, it's going to cause you a, a fluid leak or you know, obviously damage those threads. It will be a headache down the road the next time you go to service it. So don't do that. Um, you, know, you can go to the parts store and, and uh, buy a pretty cheap mechanical torque wrench. If you're changing your own fluids, you should really have one anyways. Um, you know, I always torque drain plug uh, gaskets, I'm sorry, drain plug bolts, um, just to prevent any uh, you know, issues down the road. So you should have one probably as well if you're gonna be changing your own fluid. Now the drain plug is torqued to specifications. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this residual fluid that is left over from the draining of the tr transmission fluid. Uh, that way this customer doesn't go home and uh, get drips on their driveway. Uh, nothing more frustrating than that. So I'm going to go ahead and use some brake cleaner and clean all that off. You see this plastic shield here? It's almost lined up with the drain plug. We did get a little bit of fluid on the bottom here that kind of caught on top of the splash shield. You can see it pulling up there. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that off as well. Got the Odyssey lower back down. Got the funnel in. Transmission fluid. This is my third quart going in here, so it's just about done. Uh, once this finishes up, I'm going to go ahead and check the fluid level. Once it gets to the full mark on here, I'll go ahead and start the uh, start the engine, run it through all the gears while it's up in the air with my foot on the brake. Um, turn the ignition off, come back out, and just double check the fluid level. Check for any leaks, and we'll go for a test drive. Okay, so I just put three quarts of transmission fluid in. Ran it through uh, the gears with the engine running with my foot on the brake while it's up in the air. And I, that tube right... Oh right there, my finger's pointing, that's where the dipstick comes out of, and you'll see here I've got, it should be between those two lines, it says hot, and I'm about almost a half quart short, so I'm going to have to add some more fluid. I just add another half of quart of transmission fluid, and I'm right at the full mark, uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten the fill plug, and go take this for a test drive. Torque specification for the fill plug is 32 foot-pounds. I do have an extension on here, so that is going to uh, affect the, the torque. Uh, the key here is just not to over tighten it. So don't, um, you know, a few foot pounds in either direction is not going to be a huge deal. Uh, you're not going to get any fluid leaks, but the key here is just not to over tighten this fill plug. I'm out on the test drive. I got a, got a seat cover here to protect the customer's uh, interior so I don't get any nasty grease on their seats. All right, so what I'm checking for on this test drive is to make sure that the transmission shifts smoothly. There's no delayed or harsh shifts. Everything feels good. So I just returned from the test drive. The uh, engine's at operating temperature, and you can see the fluid is right at the top dot where it says hot. It's exactly where you want it to be. Before I give the car back to the customer, I want to check and make sure there's no fluid leaks. As you can see, it's, it's dry as a bone here, so I'm good to go there. Uh, the engine is running, and I also drove it about two miles or so on a test drive, so I know it's not leaking fluid before I give it back to the customer. So we've checked the fluid level. We verified there weren't any leaks. We test drove the vehicle. Everything shifts smoothly. The only thing left to do is to reset the maintenance minor system on this car, which there'll be a link below to show you how to do that for the 2011 and 2016 Honda Odysseys. Uh, it brings this video to an end. Hopefully it helped you. If it did, please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.